She never told me about the arrangement. I'm sure it was an arranged one. But um, after she married, she moved into Gong Gong's family's house and stayed there, even though they were separated for 10 years. So in that way, she was very traditional. You know, once you marry, you now belong to the other family. I think she expected to come a lot sooner than she did. And then at some point, uh, Gong Gong wasn't earning enough money, you know, to save, to bring her over, and also he found out legally he couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. And so he wrote her a letter and told her, that she should forget him and go find someone else. And she wrote back, and this is what the people told me. She wrote him back, said, no, I'm married into the Wong house, you know. She said, well, yeah, Wong, Wong, meaning I'm in the Wong family now. I will remain here till I die. I think uh, Gong Gong knew that it was hard for her. So it was at that point he had a friend look for some kind of paper for her to come. And he paid, I think it was like three thousand dollars in that in that in that time it was a lot of money. Now three thousand is so much. So that's how he got the papers for her. Even though he told her it may be impossible for her to come. And her response is what triggered him to actually do something about it. Hmm. So that tradition is there when you marry into a house, you're there. You, you belong there yeah. until you die. <laughs>